Hello everyone, good morning, Bandita here. Um, we're here with ETS 2, version 1.28. That's the new um, version that just got updated, including a lot of fixes, um, including double trailers, which we'll preview today. I did upload my mods so my mods are still intact I did have to download updated mods pro mods had their one point or no 2.18 out they're still working on 2.20 so that's what we're working with today and let's just get started um my money almost time for me to buy a truck but for myself but what I'll do is um Let's get a job and see what we can find. All right. Um, I don't know if we'll be able to find some doubles. Let's see. Um, hmm. I think what I'll do is. get a nice trip to get enough to at least buy my own truck ooh go to this looks like a nice route to take yeah let's do hmm we can also do that one but i think 28 euro will be more than enough to um get my own truck but let's take the trip and see where we're going hopefully this is the last trip we'll take before I get start customizing my own truck and seeing where we go from there now I do know that the DAF DLC <clears throat> came out but I did not download that I decided I'm just going to stick with what I have I have like all the map DLCs ooh so we're in a Volvo Let's take a look real quick before we go. Ah, look at that heavy haul. It looks like. Do you see? Let's see if we got any beacons here. Oh, good. In the back, but not on top of the truck. That's nice. No, that's not Volvo. It's Mercedes. My bad. Mercedes. I don't even know why I thought Volvo. Um... Actros. Yeah, so. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> what am I in? I think my best mercy. No, Volvo, I was right. I was like, wait a minute. I'm getting my uh, models mixed up. No, I was right, Volvo. I don't know why I thought Mercedes. Anyway, let's get in the truck, turn this car on. Ooh, I like how it purrs. Put the dashboard lights and the lights on. Already got the beacon lights on the vehicle. Okay, looks like we'll have to do a U-turn to get out of here. Ah, I forgot to configure my mirrors. Okay, beacon, low beam. You can put those on. All right, let's just configure this a little bit here. Make sure all my cameras are good. I don't know why I thought Mercedes. No, because I was right the first time. I'm like, wait, that's a Volvo. But then I thought Mercedes. I was like, what? No, Volvo. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we're good. Um, so let's see here. I think... All our visuals look okay for now. Maybe that. Other than that, I think we're good. Can't complain too much about that. Alright, let's... um check out the map see if we can get some discoverables on the way 
Okay, looks like we've gone through some of these. Oh, Antwerp in. I don't know if I want to stop there to get that discoverable real quick. Mmm, that'll be interesting. Um, let's see what it'll do. Yeah. Mmm, no, nah, we'll get that another time. Report there. Rotterdam. Oh, Amsterdam. We could go by there. Let's take this way at least to discover that point. Okay, and then we trail on across up to the UK. Stop. Ooh, Newcastle. Okay. Well, that's taking us in the opposite direction. Let's stop in Edinburgh. Get these discoverables up here. Uh, then, was it Iverness? Is that a discoverable we can get? Yep, yeah, well, we'll stop by here at least. Get that discoverable. And then, finish up. Alright, here's to not getting any. I need the full payment on it. Oh crap, I forgot. We can't, um... I can't do a turn just yet. Crap. This is going to be a headache. Okay, so my mistake is, I don't know what to do then. How am I supposed to, oh, this is going to be difficult. See, I get stuck. Oh, great. This is not going to be good for me. <laughs> If I back my way up. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll have to do. Okay, alright, alright. I don't know where this ba this is backing up to, but uh is better than what I was doing, so let's see where this goes. I have no idea where this is going. Ooh, what is back there? Okay, now let's see if I can do a turn here. Nope, probably not wide enough, of course. Nope, nope, nope. Keep going back out this way. Yeah. take so long to get out of here. Sheesh. Nope. Keep going backwards. This is going to be a pain in the ass. I already know. Oh crap. Wow, so that log actually does something. Weird. Oop, 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 oop. Oh good, this might be a better way to do this. Keep going, keep going. I haven't even reached, got out of the parking lot yet. <laughs> this is so sad.
Okay, got myself stuck a little bit here. Oh, this is so tragic. <laughs> this is really tragic. I'm just trying to get out of here. Come on, you can do it. I just want to get on the road. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my gosh, this is a pain. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. There's the exit. Aha, there we go. Whew. Man. I burned lots of time doing that. So much unnecessary wasted time, guys. Whew. So unnecessary. That took like, what, 10 minutes? <laughs> Man. All right, so we are on our way, finally. Thankfully, unlike uh, ATS, ETS, the axles follow you. It doesn't take forever for you to uh, make a turn or to get your cargo behind you. So that's a good thing. Okay. So we got a long journey ahead of us, but most of that journey is crossing the ocean on the ferry. So that ETA will probably drop dramatically. Um, definitely the 45 hours will drop dramatically. Thankfully I didn't do any damage to the truck or the cargo. That's important. So we're going to Stybrook, Stybrutch. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, we're carrying a mobile crane, 55 tons heavy cargo. And it's expected Saturday, 1619. So that's about what, 4 p.m.? All right, making this turn up here. Want to make sure I get no damage to the cargo because this is the trip where I uh, hopefully complete the money to buy my own truck and start going on my own journeys. Um, I'm picking up jobs where I want to go specifically. Not that working for a company is bad because you know they pay for their toll, they pay for your gas and stuff like that, but you know you want the freedom of customizing your own truck um, and that's just, that by itself is pretty cool to me. I love customizing my truck. Um, I have yet to think which model or company I'm going to build from. Still thinking about it. Of course the main ones are MAN, MAN, and Scania, but I want to look at Volvo, Mercedes, DAF. I've been told to stay away from Reynolds. <laughs> but yeah, with the money I'm going to get, I should get a little, I should have a little over uh, 160 pounds. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to customize the truck the way I wanted. I maybe take another trip just to try and get it over that, uh, at least get 180 pounds, or euro, sorry. Um, so we'll see what happens. I'm uh, hopeful that maybe with this amount I pick up after this one that... Uh, closer to customizing our own vehicle, working for ourselves, paying our own gas, hiring some drivers, building a trucking empire. The display on this isn't that bad. It looks really dim though, minus the, uh, the information tab. That looks okay, but the dashboard where the, um, RPM and the kilometers per hour is showing, fuel gauge, 
looks a bit dim to me. Even the temperature on the side, it looks dim to me. Hmm. Maybe it could be a little brighter. But you know, this isn't my truck. This is the company truck, so can't really complain that much. Looks like we're on the back roads. Look at all this farmland. Speaking of farming, I haven't really played much of Farming Sim um, 17, but I really want to get into it. Um, so, I'll probably revisit that game pretty soon. I like how these some of these back roads do not have any traffic lights. That's the best part about them. But you do have to watch out for trains and stuff like that, so... I'm speeding right down here. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I have heavy cargo, so this could tip over at any time. I have had that happen to me where I tipped over. It was not a pretty sight. Let me make sure I quick save while I'm at it. Because <laughs> you never know. I could easily tip over. Just decided to do a chill, relaxing stream today. You know, go on the road, see some sights. Of course, I wish it was lighter outside, but nighttime viewing isn't so bad either. Um, and just to recap, I am using a wheel. I have a G29, Logitech D G29. And although the shifter is separate, I am not using the shifter, but I did buy one. Uh, it was a refurbished model, but it looks banking brand new when I received it, so it works just fine. It's just that you got to get used to using a um, shifter with the many gears a truck has, and when I first tried it out, it was just, one, my desk is too small, so I didn't really like it, how I was using it on my desk, and yeah, and there's just a lot of gears you have to go through and then you have to set a button to go to the second oops didn't mean to do that there's a um, button you have to map to your wheel in order to um, get to the second set of gears which that in itself is annoying but that's what you have to do I want to give a view of the dashboard the steering this, I mean, this dashboard looks pretty wild. It looks like it's red, red leather. Um, it looks fine. I know we have to stop for gas pretty soon up here. We have about 390 kilometers to drive before we stop for gas. I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if we'll make it to the ferry to hop across before buying gas, so I might buy gas before then. Um, let's see on the GPS, what's the next spot for gas? I can't tell from here, but we're, the next spot for gas, we're definitely stop by and get some gas. Just to make sure we don't stop, because once you run out of gas, that's it, you can't go anywhere. <laughs> so, we'll see what happens with that. Right, we're cruising, street lights. I think I like the middle lane, so I'll get into the middle lane. Because you never know what what the um, outer right lane will do. So I my rule of thumb just stick to the middle lane. Just stick to it. Just to prevent you from not only missing your exit but going to the wrong exit. You don't want to have to do that and then have to trap find a way to find yourself back <laughs> yeah like this this is what would confuse some folks if you're not paying attention so that's why I say always the middle lane or the left far left lane depending on uh, how quick your exit is coming up or not coming up and how you travel like that, so. Fuel level, 
it's looking okay for right now. I'm really just waiting on the next opportunity to stop and buy some gas. And again, just to recap, we are going to Steinbrook, Wick Steinbrook. It's in the UK, uh, the northern parts, I believe. Um, so, you see the job income, 28 euro, 28,000 euro. I need all of that. And what I have right now is a little over 145,000 euro. So if you were to add this, this will definitely be, um, oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I'm sorry. Crap! I missed out on the <laughs> exit. Now I have to go through these trees. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. That's my bad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm glad I caught it. <laughs> Kinda. That was a bit much. <laughs> I definitely had enough to go to the next, um, rest stop but I just want to make sure that I got one because you never know with these all right turn off my vehicle let's get some gas in Ooh, that bus is speeding through here all right so I do have the sound fixes mob which add a lot of truck sounds so I really enjoy that uh, mod. Fuel expenses covered by your employer. Just what I like to hear. Now as we're cruising along. I don't need to rest yet. I think I got about seven hours until I need to rest. So that's good. It's always good to plan out. Not only when you're stopping to get gas. But when you're resting. Preferably at a rest stop that includes a gas station and a place where you can uh, rest. I think that's the best combination. Of course, if you have to, um, if you have to, I'm only really getting 30. F I might have to. Hold on one second. Okay. What's going on with my options here? Graphics, where are they? Ooh, I didn't know I had it on Ultra. <laughs> my bad. That's probably why. Um, let's see where this goes. I'll leave it on high and see if my FPS uh, changes any. jumped up a little bit yeah okay so I'll leave it on high I was testing it yesterday or well a couple days ago when uh, Pro Mods 2.18 was released and I had it on ultra Ooh. look at me not paying attention I had it on ultra and everything was working fine I guess when I'm streaming it doesn't like it <laughs> When I stream on Ultra, so I just changed it to high. I think I usually actually uh, stream on medium, but uh, we'll see what happens. If I have to go to medium to stream, that'll be fine. But yeah. Because usually with medium, you get more FPS while streaming. It's just the resources. So, usually I play um, all my games on the highest levels because my uh, 1070 can handle it. So, but sometimes when I stream, it gets all wonky and doesn't want to cooperate. our exit is up here yeah just got to be careful with these exits and watching where you're going um, 
sometimes you think you're going the right way and then it completely uh-oh what's going on here why is it doing that is there something in my uh-oh hold on let me check the map what's going on why was the GPS well that's weird I don't know why it was pointing the opposite direction I'm going where I need to go huh I find that to be very odd okay I don't know why the GPS arrow was pointing backwards huh, that's interesting I don't think I've seen that I don't know if I should double ch I mean I double checked the map and we're going in north we're going in the right direction so I don't know what's going on with that to be honest one of these roads where you gotta watch out and pay attention <laughs> of course I mean that should be with all roads but specifically with this one us to go here yeah so just a nice relaxing trip up north towards the United Kingdom of course I wish I had beacons on my truck but the beacons on the cargo I guess is good enough not really complaining all that much uh oh FPS is dropping again of course I have no problem playing this on ultra offline. I don't know what's up with this. I know it's a lot of the details and everything, but it shouldn't be this chippy choppy. Hold on. <sighs> I mean, not much changes. I mean, eh kind of depends let's try medium oh crap see I went the wrong way that was my fault oh crap now this hill with heavy cargo is not good just added unnecessary time and unnecessary hilly hills to this. Ugh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Looks like I took the wrong way. Now I have to do this loop de loop. I have no idea where I'm going. See, I don't like when I can't see in my mirrors. I mean, that's the whole point of having mirrors. So, let's do this advanced settings. Okay. Scaling 100, HDR, uh, reflection, high, mirror quality. That's Reflection can be medium. Grass can be low. Mirror resolution high. Mirror distance high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see how this goes. I think this will be better. Light visibility ranges high. Apply. I forgot about that one. Okay. Let's go on the road. I know I should have had these settings before I started, but there we go. Mirror quality is back. <laughs> okay, it looks like we have to do this loop de loop around we go type thing. That was my fault. Alright, let me slow down around here. I do not hurt my cargo. Oh, I already have 1% damage? When did this happen? Oh, that's because of the car when I missed the uh, 
exit to the um, rest stop, the car hit the cargo. That was my fault. Dang it, 1% damage. Ugh, I wonder how much that's gonna cost. Oh no, we're going up the hill with heavy cargo. Not good. Man, this is such a roundabout way to get back on track, but it was my fault. I need to pay attention. Let's get back on the road where we were. Let's get back on the road. I think once we get to the ferry, it's going to cut the uh, time nearly in half. Because it looks like the majority of the trip is the ferry. We'll see though. about five hours until we have to rest. Hopefully we get to the ferry before then. So t because when you're on the ferry, it rests for you. So you don't have to physically do it yourself. Oop, about to get it. Okay, that car doesn't want me to go. AI is still like this. <laughs> there we go. I think that's the mistake I made last time by going through that. <laughs> yeah, that was the mistake I made last time. My mistake. Now we're right back on track. Hopefully that time I wasted does not cut into the, uh, the amount I didn't want to waste while going to um, going to the ferry. I'm hopeful that we can get there in five hours. I will be speeding a lot of it. Maybe I shouldn't. Oh, it went up to 90. Cool. I was just setting my uh, cruise control to 72. Then it hopped right back up to 90. Okay, how far are we away from the ferry? Got too much farther. There's a lot of trucks there. See, the thing with planning your rest stop and everything is you gotta make sure you time it so you don't rest so many times that you might be late for your delivery. It's just something that you gotta watch very closely. very, very closely. Looks like when streaming, I just have to set customized settings. So, because I'm getting like 80 FPS now, it's probably because there's not a lot of detail now. But, before I was getting like 30, 25. So before I stream, I have to make, I'm, I'm going to make sure that my uh, settings are on par so we won't have to go through that again but you know that's part of streaming adjusting making sure the quality is nice the audio is nice hopefully you can hear me loud and clear I always have my mic set um, at optimum levels and also the desktop auto I want you to be able to hear the truck hear some of the sounds in the background hear planes helicopters cars that's why I like the sound fixes. It kind of amplifies that. But I don't want it to be too loud that it drowns out my voice. So I think, I, I think I've hit the sweet spot as far as that. Um, so I'm pretty, pretty good with my audio. You know, when you first stream and first record gameplay, you know, you have to tinker with your audio a little bit. Of course, I do tests off stream and when I'm not uh, recording gameplay but it's a completely different story when you're live or and uh, uh, let me make sure we are going in the right direction 
See, I don't like these type of rows because it kind of tricks you. Okay, good. They kind of trick you like, okay, am I staying in this level or the other level? But yeah, you got to be really careful about that. Um... going on this exit it looks like we are so you got to be really careful when you're streaming when you're recording gameplay that your audio levels are good especially um, like when I was recording the Witcher the other day um, my voice meter which that's what I use for my mic and stuff to make sure the pitch is nice, that I can be heard clearly and above the gameplay. Um, so I use voice meter to kind of not only amplify my voice, to, but to make sure that my voice is nice and clear. Ooh, let me slow down here. I don't need a ticket. I already got 1% damage. Oh man, I thought I set the GPS level. That's not working. Last thing I need is a ticket. Um, it's on 83. Okay, I'm going to take that off. Put it on 82. And then I get to it. But it looks like I'm climbing a hill again. Not very good when you're car uh, loading heavy haul. Ooh, that's the first time I've seen a car carrying their own haul. That's awesome. I do have the new Jazzy Pack traffic mod and his, um, the AI traffic pack and his non-Russian traffic pack. So that's why you'll see a lot of, uh, AI traffic that you wouldn't normally see. That's part of the mods that I've added. So you played this game without any mods a lot of the stuff you see here will not be in your game most likely um, especially with the pro mods I have the pro mods and rust map installed with the new ETS 2 1.28 update so thankfully those maps and mods were updated to work with this version of ETS 2 which it took me a while to uh, download, of course, and make sure all the mods worked together and there was no crashes. And I was testing this a couple days ago. There was no crashes to any of my mods. So, knock on wood on that one. Alright, looks like our exit here is coming right up. So got about another three and a half hours until we have to stop over and rest, which is cool by me. Just have to be careful with this uh, cargo because I don't need any more damage. One percent, hopefully, is the highest I'll go. Even though I didn't want that at all, but what can you do? Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Kind of a bumpy ride coming down here. Sheesh. Alright. Looks like the... Oh, wow, wow, wow. The AI has not changed. <laughs> not at all. See how that truck came speeding down there? Like a crazed maniac? Seriously. The AI just don't care. They never have and never will. <laughs> That's just how it is. There's no point in complaining about it because the AI is going to be the AI. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully... The reason I want to customize and buy my own truck is because I want to do double trailers. And you know, that's one of the... Um, Looks like all the lights are out at night. Aizemudin discovered. I have no idea how to pronounce that. I need to be on the left lane. There's a turn coming up here. Aizemudin. Aizemudin. I don't know. 
I probably butchered that to death. But, yeah. <laughs> Definitely want to make it to the ferry. Okay. It's probably because it's early in the morning. That's why the lights are out or not working as they properly should. Okay. Ah, the ferry's up here. Awesome. Nice. I won't have to take another nap, but I probably will have to do another rest stop. Well, that's just what has to happen. Nothing I can do about it. <laughs> now, what I'm interested to see is how much the ETA, go, ETA goes down, because the ferry is a long ways away. It's a long trip up north. Okay, here we go. Okay, so where am I going? Am I going in here? No, that's, there's a barrier right there. So I can't go in here. It must be the, going the one up here. The barrier was up on that one, so I'm assuming I'm going into this one. going up there it's going to take 16 hours so yeah like I said I figure it's going to take a long time it's going to cut our it looks like it's going to cut our uh, ETA in half new castle discovered okay let's go all right now to get out of here it looks like we just go straight Wait, zero minutes? What? Uh, what? What's going on? Hold up. <laughs> Let me check my map. Wait, where is number one? I thought I took that off the map. Where some oh number one is right here. I don't know why it does that. Okay, see? Okay. So let me make sure everything is good. Okay, see it cut it completely cut down our trip time. Which is what I thought. I don't know why number one was up here and number two was I don't know, just a mess. <laughs> oh wait, we're in UK so we have to drive on the left side, right? I have no idea. Yeah? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We are in the UK, so and they drive on the left side of the road, so I'm assuming this is correct. Let's see, do I have to Ooh, I'm cutting it close with the sleeping thing. That means I need to speed up a little bit and make sure I catch it. Or just make sure I don't get a fatigue penalty. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, left side of the road. Okay, I'm right. <laughs> well, I'm correct. Yep, okay, good. That's what I thought. Let me drive on the left side of the road. I personally haven't driven in the UK, but I've been in London. So, I know that's how they drive on the left side of the road it's weird 
course, when I go to uh, the UK again, I definitely want to rent a car and see how I'll do. That might be a little dangerous. Seeing as I've never. Oh! I knew the stupid cop ran into me. Hopefully, that's only truck damage. Good. I mean, really? You see me coming in the traffic circle. And you still ran into me. Like, the AI is something else, guys. It is something else. Sheesh. Oh, too wide, too wide. Watch out. Sorry, my bad. on the side there. It's like most of our trip, we were just at night, now it's about to be night again. <laughs> it's getting to be dark already. We we're just in darkness. Oh well. Nothing we can do about it. my cargo does not get damaged. Please, please, please. Now, I don't know if in the UK they have fast lane, slow lane, like we do here in the States, so I don't know. The far left lane is for fast cars, and the right lane is for slower cars in the, in the states anyway. I don't know how it works in the UK if they have some kind of outspoken rule. A lot of the times the sign will say slower traffic stay on the right. So it's kind of a it's a written yet unwritten rule I guess you can say. Um, so we'll see. Ah, so we will have enough gas to get there. Good, good. So I don't have to stop for a rest or gas. Awesome. That's what I like to see. You know, it's cutting close with the, uh... Like, we don't have to be there until Saturday. I could rest. It's not going to hurt anything. I could rest if I wanted to. What is that noise? Kind of like a low hissing sound? I don't know. Yeah, we're about almost like 35 minutes apart from the fatigue meter. I mean, if I really wanted to catch up to it, I could, but honestly, we have so much time to get to our destination that I'm not really too worried about it. Um, ooh, look at that sunset. Beautiful. Against the backdrop of a mountain, I'm assuming that is, or those buildings, who knows, trees, In that background over there, probably trees. I really don't have to speed, it's just something I'm used to. Now even though I don't use the shifter for this game, I do use uh, manual in real life, so it's not that I don't want to use it with this game, it's just that with the extra um, set of gear.